Hey everyone, it's your girl Forever Chia here, back again with another video. I know it's been a long minute, but we back uh, with my second empties video. So these are just some of my favorites, some things that I've just completely used up, and things that I might or might not repurchase. So yeah, let's get into it. So before we actually get into it, I just wanted to give y'all a little heads up as to one of the few fragrances I've been using recently, and it comes from Dossier. Now, y'all know I'm no stranger to Dossier. Even if you see up there, I have a couple Dossier bottles right here. So this is the one that I've been using most recently. If you don't know what Dossier is, they're basically an inspired by brand. Um, it's a French company, and basically you get all the inspired by scents at a fraction of the cost. So this one that I got right here is actually called Fruity Honey. Here it is. Can you see it? Can you see it? But anyway, it's called Fruity Honey. And um, the notes in it are black currant, green leaves, honey, nectarine, peach, and velveter. And it's just such an amazing fragrance. And it's actually inspired by John Malone, Nectarine Blossom, and Honey Cologne. So that's a very pricey perfume at a fraction of the cost because this I believe costs like 30 bucks. I'll be sure to put the actual price in. Extra little clip of it right here. Um, but basically their mission is to deliver the highest quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair price giving you the freedom to explore new scents. So yeah, um, very excited to have this. Um, it smells absolutely amazing, but I actually put some on my slip right now. I feel like it's more of a summery scent, but it's definitely like a great transitioning scent. It just smells so good each time I put it on. It, you can definitely smell like that honey and that peach in there. And I'm a peach tea type of girl, so I was like, yeah, I think this is the one for me. So yeah, thank you all so much to Dossier for sending me over this perfume. And if you would like to try out your own, with a little discount, here's my discount code right here, Chiamaka10 for 10% off your purchase. Now let's get into this empties video. Okay, so I don't wanna hold y'all up. I wanna go ahead and just get into this video, knock out these products and keep it pushing. So this is the re I just smell the perfume, it smells so good. Anyway, the reason why I decided to do this um, empties video today is because my empties basket is getting a little too full. Okay, this is gonna be my thumbnail. It's getting a little too full, so I was like, it's the perfect time for me to empty her out. Here she is in all her glory. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do this in any particular order. I'm literally just going through the things and then throwing them away <laughs> as I empty them out. Um, We'll start with my drinks. Y'all know I am a skinny syrup type of girl this is the hibiscus passion fruit flavor i like these because i can put them in my smoothies i can just mix it with water whatever i want um and it's zero calories zero sugar zero carbs if you didn't know i'm on the low carb lifestyle right now so um these are the things that i used to help help keep me in check so this particular flavor I wouldn't get again. This is a hibiscus passion fruit. It took me a long time to finish it, especially since it's a skinny syrup. I've learned that I actually do not care for the syrups. I care more for the skinny mixes. So they're like for mixed drinks and margaritas and stuff like that. But the syrups are pretty thick and even if you mix it with water, you can still kind of taste that syrupiness from it. So I don't really like that. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I'm done with it, but I won't be purchasing it again. Now this one, right here this is one of my favorites so this one right here is one of my favorites this is the skinny mixes pina colada um that's one that's actually 30 calories it has reduced sugar in it um this is just add rum i don't add rum i mainly use this when i'm making my smoothie so i'll do like a blueberry smoothie a strawberry smoothie and pour in some of this um and it tastes amazing um i will be picking up some more of these these are 3.99 and actually the last one too is also 3.99 but you see how bit much bigger this bottle is it's because it's a mix versus a syrup so you need more of this to i guess get the same effect as the syrup if that makes sense but i absolutely love this one and i'll definitely be purchasing it again next is calypso y'all i I remember my first Calypso. These things are so amazing. But because I'm on a low um, carb lifestyle, I can't really drink Calypsos. So I was so happy to see that they actually have a Calypso Light. Um, this one has five calories, 
um, zero sugar and this is the ocean blue lemonade and it still has the real lemon bits in it and everything like that I did enjoy it but I don't think I'll purchase it again simply because a lot just like a lot of the zero calorie drinks although they say zero sugar they still taste very very sweet and I don't usually like the artificial sweeteners that they tend to use because of that aftertaste if you if you know you know like even if you drink like zero calorie or, or coke zero you taste that sweetness at the end and I personally don't like that so I don't think I'll be purchasing it again but I'm so glad to know that we have something like this on the market for us low carb gals and guys so the rest of my items are like skincare things um this is my I don't know if I had one of these in the last one I did but this is the Body Shop's Juicy Pear Shower Gel. Amazing, amazing product. I am done with it. I will definitely be repurchasing this. A little bit of it goes a long way and it smells absolutely amazing. And I feel absolutely clean <laughs> when I'm done using it. So I absolutely love this stuff. And yeah, repurchase for sure. This is a no-brainer. This right here is a no-brainer. I will purchase this until the day I die, honestly. This is the um, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. This is the lavender one. I do like the lavender one because it doesn't burn like the peppermint one, y'all. That peppermint, oh. if you know, you know, it burns. You know, it can burn. But this one is very gentle on the skin. Um, I've gone through like two bottles of this now. Um, and I still have my backups of it ready to go. So yeah, I absolutely love this and I'll continue purchasing it forever. Um, and I'm more, and I'm willing to try out like some of the other scents, but for sure the lavender one works really well with my skin. Y'all, I've literally had this <laughs> face wash for so long. I'm so glad that it's finished. It's the Promise Organic Coconut Milk facial cleanser with papaya it's actually really really nice on the skin um it's just that i got tired of it but i'm glad that i didn't throw it away i thugged it out and i finished it up so very proud of myself for doing that so yeah i mean it was a nice cleanser um nothing spectacular but um yes yeah, it was really really nice i think it was from like cvs or something um but it's a nice cleanser i just you know i'm done with it i wouldn't i wouldn't repurchase Baby, this right here is a lotion. Okay, this is the Aveeno Daily Moisturizer Lotion. Amazing. Um, Persephone actually gave this to me for my birthday like a while ago, I believe. Yeah, and it is done to the bone, y'all. It's But it's very nourishing on the skin. Keeps my skin hydrated for literally hours. It's actually amazing, so yeah. Love it and would definitely repurchase. Um, yeah, totally forgot about this toner. This is the Garnier Skin Active Tea Tree, well, green tea, um, purifying botanical toner. Y'all, I went through so many of these to the point where I got over it. So I did like it. It's very gentle on the skin and it does like cleanse your skin also. Um, but personally, I wouldn't repurchase mainly because I've literally gone through like three or four of these at this point. But it's a nice toner if you're looking for something that's affordable and that's going to get the job done. This is another toner that I try to get every year on my birthday. Um, usually the body shop gives me like, I think a free like $10 for my birthday every year. So I go in and get like two things that are like two for 10. So I always get the tea tree um, mattifying toner. It's really, really nice. It's not the gentlest on your skin, I will say, but it really cleanses your skin. I love the sizes. This is a two ounce bottle. So I mainly use it when I'm traveling, but it's completely empty now. Um, but I think I'll still keep the bottle for travel. So I'm not gonna throw this one out, out, but just know it's empty. I might put like a random toner in here just so I have a toner with me when I do travel. But yeah, I do love this toner and I will be repurchasing again for my birthday next year. This right here is a great, great, great body wash. This is the Giovanni um, Cleanse Moisturizing Body Wash and Cucumber Song. Y'all, this makes me feel so amazing each time I use it. I went through this so fast. This is a 24 ounce bottle. I bought it from TJ Maxx for $5.99. It was like on clearance when I bought it. And I used it to the bone. I threw in a little bit of water to try to get it to last a little bit longer, but she gone for real now. 
she's gone. Um, I'll definitely purchase some more body washes from them. I'm more mostly familiar with their hair products. So I love their shampoo and their conditioner. But this body wash is also amazing. I want to see what other scents they have. But yeah. I would definitely be repurchasing this as well. Lastly, we have a few beauty products. So first is my <laughs> Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is in the shade. It doesn't say, but I believe it's like caramel or tan. Um, I use this to the bone, as you can see. Ain't no product left in there. Ain't no product. <laughs> So, um, this is still my favorite concealer of all time, high-end or low-end, best concealer hands down. I already have another one that I'm using currently, but yeah, I would never stop using this concealer until someone can prove me that another concealer is way better. I do still want to try out the, um, what's it called? The Born This Way Concealer. I still want to try that one for sure. Um, so yeah, that's probably the next one on my list, but in the meantime, I'm going to continue using these. Now these two I haven't actually finished but I wanted to share them anyway because these are the empty boxes that I'm about to throw away. Um, I love these products so 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 much right now. So first is the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. Here it is. Um, this is in the shade Deep and it is the perfect, the perfect cream bronzer. A little bit of it goes a long way. It doesn't look muddy on your face. And it's like, I think I bought mine for like $13 maybe. And it's a lot of products. So instead of going in and trying to get the Chanel Soul Day whatever bronzer or the um, Huda Beauty one, I think you can try out this Soul Body one, which is like a product of ColourPop at a fraction of the cost to see if you even like cream bronzers before you make that big splurge and buying one. Personally, I don't even really use my... <laughs> I don't use my um, powder bronzers like at all anymore and I had a stage in time where literally all I bought were bronzers and I barely touched them anymore because of this like it mixes so well with all of my foundations it doesn't like it's not it's never patchy or anything like that and it's very very affordable so I'll continue using this I might even get like one that's a little bit lighter since um, the seasons are changing and my skin is also changing so um, that's about it I definitely recommend everyone that has actually seen me put this on myself has been like yo what is that or you know where can they get it I did my friend's makeup and she was like yo girl like what did you use because I need that this baby this is what I use Last but not least is my Ole Henriksen Moment of Truth 2-in-1 Polish and Sugar Mask. This bad boy is amazing. I'm using it like so constantly right now. It smells so good and it kind of like warms up on my face. I mainly picked this up because it was reduced down to $5.40 at my local Ross. Um, originally they wanted $11 for it. So when I saw it for like $5.50 I was like let me go ahead and cut that um a little bit of it goes the long like literally it looks like I have not touched it yet because <laughs> the littlest amount of it goes the longest way it just makes my face feel so nice and smooth and polished um and yeah so it says it gentle it gently polishes smoothes and brightens with sugar honey and pomegranate seed powder um so yeah smooths brightens and revives your skin so amazing I, and I already trust any Ole Henriksen product um, I do want to get some more once I get through the ones I do have but yeah that is that so thank y'all so much for watching this video shout out to Dossier once again for the fragrance I'm still smelling it throughout this video um yeah those were my empties if there are any empties that I had that you also enjoyed let me know if there are any things that y'all think that I should try given that the holiday season is coming up Please be sure to let your girl know. It is, you know, getting into towards final season. It's like mid-semester, y'all. I'm draining, but I know that this is all going to be worth it in the end. So, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching this video. And I'll catch y'all next time. Bye.